I know Kung Fu. Show me. I'm the martial arts film freak, and I watched The Man Who Feels No Pain. I have a rare type of disease, congenital insensitivity to pain. Let me Google it later. But if I explain it in simple Hindi, then it says that it doesn't hurt the blood. That's the disease. Rock and roll, rock and roll. The Man Who Feels No Pain, or uh, I have to look at this because that's obviously the English title, and I'm probably not going to pronounce this right. Uh, Mard Kodard Nahin Hota. Yep. Was directed by Vasan Bala and stars uh, Adhimanyu Dasani, uh, Radhika Madan, Pratik Parmar, uh, and uh, who was Karate Man? Uh, Gulshan uh, Devaya? That sounds about right. So yes, this is a uh, Indian film. Um, Indian films. Uh, I need. I need to. Ch I need to check out more Indian martial arts films because, from what I've I've seen, just from passing through stuff online, there's a lot of Indian martial arts films, and I've seen like two and a half. And people will constantly ask me on social media, like, "Have you seen this? Have you seen this?" And every time I'm like, "I have not." I I remember I started watching one a few years ago. And then as soon as a big dance number happened, I was out. And I'd, I'd, I'd like to think that now, um, you know, eight years later, I don't know when that was, uh, I'd like to think that uh, I'm a bit more mature and, and just accept more types of media from different places and I'm more open about what I'll watch. So I, I should jump in and watch more Indian films. Uh, but this is a good place to start. I was immediately drawn to this film because uh, one of my favorite people on the internet, um, Eric Jacobus and his team, the stunt people, uh, were constantly posting about this film because they helped choreograph it. At one point, you even see Eric Jacobus for like five seconds on screen. Uh, I guess they just needed an extra guy, and so they just put a hat on him, so you, people would probably wouldn't think he was a white dude. Probably? I don't know. Yes, I just checked. Uh, Eric Jacobus was the action director, and uh, Dennis Rule, who was also uh, part of the stunt people, he's in a lot of Eric Jacobus' short films and I think he's got a few films of his own, uh, he was the fight coordinator. And that is evident in a lot of the fight scenes throughout this movie. This is a very stylized film. It's very fun. Uh, it's a very playful... Almost, it gets dark towards the end, but it's a very playful um, theme. The main character, Surya, uh, was born with uh, this disease. It's probably a disease. It's probably not very good. Um, to where he can't feel pain. And uh, his grandfather kind of encourages him to follow his dreams, uh, which his dreams just are essentially be a superhero. But um, instead of like being a kid who grows up reading comic books and watching cartoons and says like, oh, I want to be an actual superhero, he grows up watching kung fu movies and action movies. And he's like, I want to be an action star, but I want to like, I want to be a kung fu guy. I want to be a superhero who can beat the crap out of people. Eventually he grows up, still kind of has that childish state of mind. He, st he still has this dream even though his father is very strict and uh, he still wants to be Karate Man. Uh, he eventually runs into some old friends from when he was a child. He eventually does this, blah blah blah. He finds his 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 chosen path, his his evil that he must thwart. And the movie, that's what, that's what the movie's about. He's, he's thwarting evil. And this is not the fastest moving film in the world. This is uh, two hours and 14 minutes long, I believe. And um, while there are like sprinkles of action throughout, it probably doesn't really start getting intense with action until almost towards the last maybe 40 minutes. Um, at that point, all of our heroes, I'd say heroes, are assembled and they take on their evil. And uh, at the last 45 minutes, that action is great, but it, the movie does do a very good job of keeping you interested in the characters you're given. You, you understand... Surya, you understand his friend, you understand Karate Man. Everyone's story is well done. 
Uh, and like I said, it, it's very stylized in the way it tells the story, uh, the way it, it sort of flashes through time and goes between different people's stories. It's also very empowering. So like I said, the movie does move rather slowly um, until that last 40 minutes. But the action, like I said, it's, it's quite fun. I, I You can re definitely recognize if, if you've dove through enough Eric Jacobus and uh, stunt people um, things as I have, you know, the YouTube channel, the films, the short films, uh, you recognize it. You recognize the fun of it and, and just the high-octane, goofy, almost, choreography of it all. Uh, and I enjoyed that a lot. I This was, like I said, it's long, but, you know... The characters are a lot of fun. By the time you get to those fight scenes, they are very good fight scenes. And there's a really cool thing at the end that even though it does get... It, God, it gets so brutal at the end. It's just... Like, it doesn't go as far as, like, a Mortal Kombat fatality. or It, it doesn't even go as far as, uh, like, the night comes for us in terms of gore. It's just... Like... It's almost like it, it does this... Some, it does... This violence for the sake of comedy. But maybe in our culture it doesn't come off as comedy. Maybe they're laughing about it in India, but... For me, I was, I was cringing a bit. It was, it was a lot. But the ending does have this cool moment where uh, things sort of come full circle for two certain characters, and I liked that a lot. In the end, I enjoyed this movie um, a, quite a bit. Uh, so I think I'm gonna give this movie about, um, let's say, uh, 3.4 maroon Bruce Lee uh, jogging suits out of five. Uh, that jogging suit is very important. This movie is very much an homage to classic Kung Fu cinema in that way, especially Bruce Lee films. Um, so that is what I think. What did y'all think of The Man Who Feels No Pain? Or, um, let me pull up this title again. Uh, Mard Ko Dard Nahin Hota. What did you think of Mard Ko Dard Nahin Hota? I think after this, I'm definitely going to have to dive into a lot more uh, Indian cinema. Um, you know, I, I know that there's going to be some of those some of those big dance numbers, but, uh, you know, that's probably fine. I liked La La Land. The movie's also got some funny to it. Some good sort of non-verbal, just physical comedy. It goes from very subtle to very extreme. I like this. This is a fun movie. I'm going to have to show this movie to people. Uh, so, yeah, what did y'all think? Uh, coming down in the comments, uh, what's your favorite Eric Jacobus short film is? Because Garopa Dope 1 and 2 are just so good. Head over to MarshallJournal.com for uh, articles on martial arts, uh, workouts, philosophies, and uh, movie and book reviews. I got some stuff over there. Uh, thank you all for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and have a good day.